Lo grande del extremo. Thank you. Nos leyó el cuento que está en la Biblia, en el sitio, y se trata de este cuento que vamos a leer esta noche. Y yo les voy a leer. Y nos va a ayudar a aprender las los partes del cuerpo. The body parts and the bones. So, let's review this first. Okay. I just read Ezekiel 37, 1 to 10. And to understand the story, I'm going to read you the story, but you're going to look at this to help you understand the bones of the body. And then we're going to play a game to study the bones of the body, or the parts of the body. Okay. So, uh, let's start at the top. No, let's start at the bottom. And everybody say toe. 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 El dedo, los dedos del pie. Toes. Cuando, y también tenemos foot. Foot. When you have, foot. cuando están hablando de un yeah. pie, se dice foot. Pero foot. cuando están dos, se dice feet. Feet. Uh -huh. Cuando están hablando de dos, se dice feet. Teresa, good to have you. Foot. So, have a seat. And so we have, we're talking about the bones of the body. So we have feet, toes, foot, and everybody say leg. Leg. And then there's the knee. 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 knee bone. And here's the hip. 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 Go to the end. Hip. Hip. And everybody say backbone. 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 And now up here, you can't see it in the picture, but it's the neck bone. The backbone connects to the neck bone. Can you? Um, Olivia, she's looking for her papers, Teresa. Oh, yes, oh, yes. yes. You said you weren't going to be here tonight, Teresa, and we put it away. Oh, but she'll find it. Oh, yes. Okay, so, back bone, neck bone. Now, in the book, they say the neck bone's connected to the shoulder bone, and it's not. It's connected to the collar bone. So, shoulder, shoulder but we're right here with the neck. And the next one, I le puse una línea en la mía. Did you guys have it? Yes. The shoulder is the hombro? Hombro? Es el hombro, ¿no? Sí, pero este hueso aquí, donde se conecta el shoulder, uh -huh. that's called the collarbone. Y me fijé que no escribí la palabra allí. Collarbone? So, collar. I'm going to write it um, on the board right now. Collar. Ernie, collarbone is C-O-L-L-A-R? That's correct. There's the collarbone. Si ves que hay una línea puntando a la palabra shoulder, acá uh -huh. en esta línea ponga collar. See, on this line, write the word collarbone because the collarbone is here first. Is this the word? Uh-huh. And that's connected to the shoulder bone. Is that lo que dicen la, la clavícula? The mm -hmm. clavicle, yes. yes. That's the medical term. Oh, okay. Los médicos usan esos, esos uh, nombres. Sí. Okay. Pero para los niños y para todos los que usan los demás, no usan Entonces, los de médicos. ¿Dónde le pongo? Aquí. Red collar. ¿Ves esa palabra? Mm -hmm. oh, sí. Yeah. 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 Aquí en esa línea. Porque primero está el collarbone mm -hmm. and then the shoulder bone. Mm -hmm. And... Then we can finish. And then it's going to go from the collarbone to the shoulder bone. And it should say that. And the reason why they don't is because they say they go to the neck bone. And then from the neck bone, they go to the head. And we have that head. But you hear the word skull a lot. That's a medical term. But we say head bone for kids. <clears throat> well, for everybody. And then... The song doesn't do this. It doesn't talk about the arms. In the cuento que les voy a leer, y es un can, es un canción. Um, it doesn't talk about the upper arms. So this shoulder bone is connected to the upper arm. If you say upper, porque está más arriba, but not upper. Up. So this is the upper arm. Mm -hmm. Está escrito. And then we have the mm -hmm. elbow. And then we have the forearm. This part is the forearm. And 
then we have the wrist bone. This is not in the song, but we're gonna we're gonna put it in the song. Exactly. Yes. And then we have on the wrist is the hand, hands, okay, and then the fingers. Okay. So those are the bones that we're gonna talk about, and you're gonna hear them in this in the story right now. And I would read this story to my third grade class every time we come about Halloween because there's a bunch of skeletons out and the kids are wondering why are they out there? I don't know why, but I do know that um, I want them to know that this story comes from the Bible and there were some dry bones. And before I read you the story, I want you to see this is part of the song. And many times when you're going to see songs, they're not going to use the correct spelling. They're not going to use the correct words sometimes. I don't know why. But they do that with songs and sometimes with stories. Como es aquí dice them bones. It should not say them bones. It should say them bones. Okay? But it's a story and it's a song. And the songwriters, they change these things. You will also see incorrect writing in English in um, advertisements. What's advertisements in Spanish? Advertencias. Advertencias, yeah. And also the billboards when you're driving and then yes. you see the big billboards. Advertencias. Uh -huh, okay. No lo van a escribir bien. I don't know why they do that. But my children, when they were growing up, they always said, they didn't spell that correctly. And they tell me, and that's good. You're right, they didn't. And they said, why do they do that? They're teaching us the wrong way. And I, you're right, they are, they're teaching you the wrong way. But you're smart and you caught, you caught it, you saw, them, you saw their mistakes. So I don't know why they do that, but songwriters and story writers will do that and advertisements. So you will now see, ahora ustedes pueden ver también que van a ver que no está escrito bien, ahora que están aprendiendo su inglés, right? Lo en el señalamiento no está bien escrito. ¿Dónde? En el señalamiento de la calle. Ah, uh, no. La, de las calles, sí, eso debe de estar bien. Uh -huh. Pero los advertisements, the big billboards, a veces no usan um, el inglés correctamente. ¿En dónde? On the billboards, cuando estás um, manejando uh -huh. la calle y, y ves... Como las construcciones. Uh -huh. construcciones. constructions, too. A and restaurant. The constructions on the, the street. Uh -huh. Las advertencias que ponen. connected to the neck bone, neck bone connected to the head bone. Entonces tienen esta canción. 
Here's the song. It's the repeat of the verses and you can sing it with me. And you sit down so that you can sing. You repeat it for me. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Otra vez. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Una vez más. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Entonces dice, oh, hear the word of the Lord. Repite. Oh, hear the word of the Lord. Eso significa que escuches la palabra de Dios. Porque es el Hear the word of the Lord. Very good. Porque viene de la Biblia, el segmento. Y te, los africanos te hicieron una canción. Okay. Yeah. Y yo lo oí este modo. Escucha. Them bones, them bones, gonna walk around. Porque en el cuento de la Biblia, dice que esos huesos secos se, um, se hicieron humanos otra vez, vivos, y caminaron. They walked. So, the uh, Africans added this part. So you can repeat. Y mira, otra vez, no usaron la palabra bien. Gonna. Y vas a escuchar inglés así. Muchos van a hablar así, van a decir gonna. I'm gonna go to the store. Pero no es bien. Debe decir, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going, or going to walk around. Y mira, usaron them bones. Significa them. Viene cuando estábamos estudiando uh, this and that, remember? Mm -hmm. And these and those. Um, pero no lo usaron bien, deben usar esta palabra. Porque them bones, it's, they're supposed to say those bones. Mm -hmm. Pero los, usaron los them, huesos. los huesos, esos huesos. Esos huesos. Sí, van a caminar. Pero no usaron la correcta palabra. Deben de usar those bones, pero usaron them. Y aquí le escribí, um, estos son, I forgot what they're called, but se usa así. Give it to me, I will give it to you. I will give it to him, I will give it to her. Uh, please give it to us. Give it to, I will give it to you. Pronouns? Uh, yeah, possessive pronouns, I think. Because you're something, and they're called like indirect possessive pronouns, something like that. And give it to them. When me estás dando algo a alguien, si lo quieres tú, give it to me. Or I can give it to you. Right? I can give I, it to him. I give it. Give that. I give. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I give, give it to him. him. Es hombre. I, to I give that her. I give, I give it to him. I can give it to her. And I can give it to them. Okay. Yes. I, I y eso es el modo en que deben de usar estas palabras. Pero otra vez no lo usaron bien. Usaron them y deben de usar dos en la canción. ¿Verdad? Entonces lo correcto es dos. Dos. No. Not them, no. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to say those bones, those bones, those dry bones. Pero no lo usaron así. Porque también los africanos estaban aprendiendo inglés cuando escribiendo esta canción. Y ahora... Se la rifaron, sí. Como más o menos. <laughs> ok, so now... So now we're going to use this. And we're going to go from the head to the arms down this way. So, repeat after me. Repeat. Okay. Uh, head bone connected to the neck bones. Repeating. Neck, head, head bone, connect to the neck head bone. bone. Yes. Head bone. Head? Mm -hmm. Head, yes. Bone bone. Connected connect to the neck bone. bone. To the neck bone. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no speak yet connected. Connected is conectado. Mm -hmm. Es un colnado. Connected. Okay. So, head bone connected to the neck bone. Repeat that. Head, head, head bone, bone connected to the neck bone. bone. Head bone. Connect. No, no. Otra vez, head bone. Head bone. Connected. Connected. To the neck bone. To the neck bone. Yes. Ahora, neck bone connected to the collarbone. Neck, neck bone, bone connected, connected to the collarbone. 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 
collarbone connected to the shoulder bone. Shoulder bone connected to the upper arm. Shoulder bone connected to the upper arm. Shoulder bone connected to the upper arm. Did it say upper arm? Upper arm. No, it's going to be upper arm. No, no, it's not. See, I guess that's it. Oh, it's not bottom. Right here. There, this is the forearm. Yeah. But the upper arm. Right here, look at this. Oh, I saw. Yeah. This one? Yes. And there's the yeah. upper arm. And then on the other side is the other part. Okay. How would the upper arm connected to the elbow? Upper, upper arm, arm connected, connected to the elbow. Los dos lados tienen un elbow, ¿verdad? Okay. Elbow connected to elbow? the forearm. Elbow connected to the forearm. Forearm connected to the wrist bone. Forearm connected to the wrist arm. Wrist bone. Wrist bone connected to the hand bone. Wrist bone connected to the hand bone. Connected to the hand bone. The hand bone. Wrist bone connected to hand. Very good. Hand bone. And hand bone connected to the finger bones. Hand bone connected to the finger bones. Pregunta? Sí, yo es que no sé cómo se pronuncia bien el wrist. 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 Yes. Wrist. El doble U no se no se usa. Es la wrist. Wrist. It's just R I S T. Wrist. Aquí no se pronuncia el doble U. Wrist. Yeah, wrist. Okay, so that's wrist bone, hand wrist. bone, and finger bones. Okay. Wrist and bone. En el libro les explica los nombres médicos de cada de cada hueso. Si quieren el libro, si quieren a leer el libro, pero les explica el nombre que los médicos usan. Okay. Este es lo que niños usan y la mayoría de la de la gente usa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, los médicos usan las otras, ¿no? Otra, como otra. tú dijiste. La clavícula. La clavícula, sí. Ah. Y anyway, estos se llaman phalanges. <laughs> That's why the name phalanges. Los dedos. Phalanges? Phalanges. Phalanges? Phalanges. Yes, they're really Okay, phalanges. so now let's finish the song. And canten conmigo. Conmigo, no repiten. Can you do it with me? They hear the yeah. same, no? They sound the same. Them? 
them is stuck on the th. Them. Them. Pero the el la de dice them. No. Oh, them. Es como hablando como un baby. Como oh, them. Baby son. Them. Lo pronuncia como como se mira ahí them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Them. Um. Okay. Así. Yes. Right. Okay. So that's the song and the book. Now we're going to play a game. And we're going to use these verbs. And I'm going to teach you the verbs first because then I'm going to pick someone to be the teacher. I'm the teacher and I'm going to show you the game. But then, uh, so you can take a picture or write these down somewhere. Y escriba el español para ayudarte. Nod, la primera, es lo que haces con, with your head. You nod your head. Así. What does it say? Sí, así. Oh, no. This is still a nod. I'm nodding my head and I'm saying no. So this is a nod. Yes. ¿Verdad? Lo usamos así en español. ¿Verdad? Pero en inglés se dice nod. Shake is this. What is that in Spanish? Shake. Sacudir. Yes, temblar. Temblar. Sacudir. Temblar o shake. Tremble is shake. Tremble is shake. Yes. And sacudir is shake. También está el vanilla shake. Yeah. <laughs> a vanilla shake. For the, you can't get this one. Get a vanilla shake. <laughs> okay. Put. Es cuando put is ponga algo. Right? Put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your shoulders. Right? And that's how the game's going to be played. Touch is como touch your nose. Touch your ears. Touch your shoulders. Lo estás tocando, right? Or touch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> touch. And then bend is get. Doblado. Bend your elbow, bend your wrist, bend your knee, okay? bend your hips, right? And then pat is when the last is esto. Okay? Pat your belly, pat your head, that's pat. And stomp is this, stomp your feet. Okay? And this one, you know, stand. To play the no. game is to stand. Touch. Touch. Yes. Touch. 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 No es pegar. No, palpearle. Palpearle. Palmear. 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 Okay. Palmear. So Good job, Luz. Así. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, that's pat. And stomp is with your feet. And stand, you know that one. And sit, you are all sitting down right now. Reach is when the, you're reaching out like this. Um, what's that, Spanish? Alcanzar. Reach. Estirarse. Estirarse. Okay. Estirarse. Turn. No, reach is alcanzar, no? Uh-huh. Oh, Estira, no. Est, no? Estirarse. Estirarse. Well, stretch is estirarse. Stretch is estirarse. Yeah, but reach is cuando quieres agarrar algo. Alcanzar. Yes. Alcanzar. Alcanzar. Okay. So that like, reach for the sky, reach for the ceiling. And then turn. Right? And you can turn to the right. Turn to the left. Or you could turn all the way around. And flap is what birds do with their wings. And we're going to flap our arms. We're going to flap our upper arms. Wiggle. I think there's an R in that word. Are any of you still there? No, it's not. There's no R in that word? Okay. Wiggle is just when you just wiggle your whole body. Okay. And then flap. No. Um, wiggle. No, means are here. I don't know. I don't think so. Wiggle. Como I don't even know what it is. Moverse. 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 Sí, todo el cuerpo. Oh, es moverse? Ajá. Todo el cuerpo. Moverse. Flap. Flap. 
flap is going to uh, um, aletear, como like when you can fly. Aletear, you your wings. aletear, aletear. Okay, now to play this game. If you're ready. Okay, and this game is called Teacher Says. Let me just say, okay, Teacher Says. Okay. Teacher Says, please stand up. Please stand up. If you want to, if you want to play the game. I can try. I can try. You're like it. You have to do what the teacher says. Okay? If teacher says for you to do something, you have to do it. But I'm going to tell you to do something, and I might not say teacher says. Si no digo teacher says, no lo hagas. Okay, so pay close attention. Teacher says, touch your head. Everybody or? Everybody. Yes. Oh. Teacher says, touch your head. Teacher says, put your hands on your hips. Teacher says, clap your hands. Teacher says, put your hands on your shoulders. Hands on your hips. Uh, uh, uh. Teacher didn't say that. <laughs> so, that's good. Teacher didn't say, so she would have to sit down. But you can keep playing. Now, todos entienden, si yes, the teacher I doesn't say, <laughs> then you're going to sit down. Okay. Teacher says, touch your knees. Knees. Oh, knees. <laughs> <laughs> this is nose. <laughs> this is nose. These are knees. Touch your knees. <laughs> <laughs> teacher says, put your hands on your hips. Hands on your hips. Mira los otros lo que están haciendo. Teacher says, stomp your feet. Good, remember stomp. Teacher says, turn around one time. Teacher says, teacher says, pat your head. Pat, muy bien, Edgar. Pat your head, yes. <laughs> Teacher says, touch your nose. <laughs> touch your mouth. Uh, sit down. <laughs> Teacher didn't say. Teacher says, uh, Teacher says, wiggle your body. Wiggle your body. Teacher says, shake your hands. Shake your hands. Pat your belly. Uh, 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 your belly. Oh, you do do oh. it? Okay. The teacher do not say. Yes. Teacher didn't say. You're good. You're okay. This is the belly. Teacher says, put your hands on your back. Okay, that's good. On the front of back. On the back. The teacher says, Put your hands on your knees. Hands yes. on your hips. Oh, very good. <laughs> Teacher says, put your hands on your shoulders. Now I'm gonna go faster. Shoulders. Shoulders. Oh. Teachers, I'm gonna go faster now. Okay. <laughs> Teacher says, hands on the shoulders. Hands on your hips. Ah. Teacher, don't say. Teacher says, teacher says, put your hands on your thighs. Thighs. Remember the thigh bone connected to the knee bone. Teacher says, put your hands on your knees. Hands on your hips. Oh, very good. <laughs> teacher says, put your hands on your hips. Put your hands on your shoulders. Ah! 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 Ah!
you're going to walk around the room. You're going to shake their hand. Can I shake your hand? And you're going to say, hello, my name is... Toda la oración. Hello, my name is Pero mira las manos. The secret zombie, mira mi dedo. Como cuando... Mira, mira mi dedo. Si hago esto a tu mano, when we talk, then she knows, ah, me hice un zombie. ¿Qué es un zombie? It's como, it's a pretend disease. Y se parecen como están muertos. Disease es una enfermedad, pero no es, es no es uh, real. Yes, and it's not real, obviously. So, yes, when, when you wake up and when it's not working, when you wake up and work, or... Te sientes como un zombie, sí. So, the zombie is como un monstruo. Oh, okay. De, uh, para que no tiene alma. Que no tiene alma. Está muerto. Está vivo, pero ya como que tu mente ya no está. Ya, como su alma no está. ¿Verdad? Y es como un monstruo y le llaman zombie. Es como, pero sí, en la mañana sí me siento como si es un hombre y como, oh, okay. no estoy muerta, estoy antes muerta, de, no, antes estoy viva, estoy aquí, antes de café. Sí. <laughs> y <laughs> vas a decir, hello, my name is, y entonces aquí también dice, what is your name? Por ejemplo, ella dijo, my name is Luz, and then I said, my name is Nancy, pero el secret zombie va a hacer esto a tu mano, ves lo que está haciendo con el dedo? ¿Ese es el zombie? El zombie es secreto. Te va a hacer esto. Okay? Y el zombie va a tener una Z, la Z, en su papel. Y esa persona va a ser el zombie. Okay? Y vamos a leer estos todos. And we're going to shake hands. And we're going to say, do you know what a zombie is? And then you, you read this sentence. I think it is a make-believe disease. Make-believe significa que es... Uh, Pretend. Van a pretender que es un, una enfermedad, pero no es, no es cierto. It makes you look like you're dead. Te, te, me, uh, te hace mirar como si estás muerto. Si tú estás infectado con, con los zombies. Okay? Entonces, aquí también dice, How are you infected? Just by touch, dice. Yikes. Yikes, es, significa, uy, miedo. Ajá, con miedo, sí. Ok, so, yes, so one of you is going to have the letter Z, uno de ustedes, ok, and I'm going to pass these out, and then you have to stand to talk. Sí. 
Do you know what is for me? I think the make for me this. It made you look like you have a dinner. How do you Cheese by chance. Cheese! Okay, well, I did. I touched her hand. 
I thought she I thought she uh, and she she she, she, she lived there. Uh, okay, no, no, it's not me. She can do it to me. No, it's not going to get the lead up by yet. Wait, so this cat is going to be too? Well, no, it's like to a todos, no more than me. Okay. No more than me, but it's all right. No, no, no. It's not me. Uh, well, it says just by touch. So you just touched him. Oh, baby, you yeah, touched it on me. Oh, he's not necessary to. He has a Z too? Yeah. I put on only on one paper. Yeah, he does. Oh, you were the zombie, the secret zombie. He you didn't see it? And do you have it too? Yes, I did. You don't have two. Pero como ella es eh, la, mayús, la letra mayúscula, ella era la... Okay, so we're all zombies, right? Everybody shook your hand, everybody shook your hand. Except me! We're all zombies, except for... No, I shook your hand, so you became a zombie too. Okay, so we have five minutes, we can do our reflections. And while you're doing your reflections, Next week, I'm going to try and do a quiz in this family. A ver lo que aprendieron. Quiero ver lo que se recuerdan de lo que les enseñé. Next week. Is last week's week the last class? No, there's two more. There's November 7th and November 14th. And then November 14th.
No, eso es lo que usted quiera hacer, eso es lo que dice, uh, puede leer, reading es a leer, ¿eh? uh -huh. lo puede leer estos de aquí o, o lo que usted pueda leer, puede leer esos de them, them no. bones, them bones, sí, lo, que lo, leer. lo que pueda usted leer, yo puedo, puedo leer esos de aquí. Y estos. Uh -huh. Ajá.